right, guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, this is uh, Draw Fantasy Art or Concept Art or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm Sketch Monster, and uh, this is uh, I'm going to be using a regular pencil right here, just Aqua Sketch. I'm just going to go over a couple of different types of eyes. Let me sharpen this pencil real quick. I'm going to go over a few different types of eyes uh, that I tend to use a lot. They're monster design. So these are monster eyes, monster design eyes. So I want to use a bunch would be just a pretty much a normal human eye except it's uh, you know has nothing in it it's no pupils totally blank that kinda gives it this kind of uh, blind with rage kinda look that you got going sometimes blind with rage You can also throw in a lot of uh, bag under the eye. That kind of makes it look evil. A lot of bag under the eye can do that. Some crinkliness. Uh, it makes it look like old and not old, but yeah, definitely old, but more like evil and gross and. You know, let's just say that's one eye. Uh, another kind of eye I tend to throw in, and we're talking about stuff within the eye. Um, you talk about slit pupil. Um, so let's let's talk about the slit pupil for a minute, and uh, I'm going to draw it out here first. So, the slit people in nature is uh, mostly on um, mostly on smaller animals, and the reason for that is because let's just take the regular pupil and iris. Pupil and iris. Let's say that's a regular one. When you're a small animal, you want your range of vision to be lar like looking up. So. If you have this kind of iris and pupil when you're uh, like an animal close to the ground, you're not going to be able to look up. Your range of vision is not going to be high. Because if you're low to the ground, you're looking up all the time. There's bigger animals than you. So uh, animals that are close to the ground tend to have pupils that are elongated and wrapped around the eye here. See the slip? So that they can see, their range of vision can see much higher, a little bit obviously lower as well, but also especially much higher. Because they need to, because everything is bigger than them. So snakes close to the floor a lot of times, uh, well obviously all snakes are close to the floor. Animals close to the floor tend to have that, this, this eye, this slit eye. And almost no big animal does, I believe. Almost none of them do. Um, so sometimes it doesn't really make a lot of sense to put them on... Uh, large animals. Even though they look cool, the slit pupil, it, it just doesn't seem, it's just not, you know, like the velociraptors have it in like, I think Jurassic Park and, you know what I mean? It just looks cool, but generally that's what it's for. It's for increasing your range of vision up uh, and down, but mostly up. When you're big, you don't need to look up all the time. And they kind of develop that because they have to, you know, wash for predators all the time. Uh, another eyeball I do, but I mean, the other eyes I do as well is a little bit rounder, an obvious round eye, and I'll blacken out a bunch of it, like a bunch of it. Something like that, almost like a squid eye or something like that. Obviously, out, out of context, a little different. You know, you want it on a face. Um, I don't often do eyes that are sticking out of their socket because I want it to be realistic, you know. When the eyeball's out of its socket, it's a little odd. I mean, I know there are animals like that, but, I mean, for the most part, I don't draw uh, eyes too often sticking out because they can, you know, 
think about it, why would it... I mean, I guess certain crabs do. It helps them see. But very, very, very rarely do I do that. Very rarely do I have them sticking out of their eye socket. I tend to like it, um, you know, in an eye socket so that it's protected. Uh, one other note about this, when it comes to the eye, let's talk about scale really quick when it comes to the eye. Uh, when you're drawing something, let's say you got a head shape, monster head shape, or just whatever. Bigger eyes make it look about normal size or smaller, you know, make the actual creature look smaller. Smaller beady eyes make that thing look huge, you know, bigger, make it look like a bigger hulking creature. Um, so that's why they, they, when you see stuff like, even though you look at the Hulk, you know, or even, um, you know, other monsters in movies, they tend to draw smaller, beadier eyes on them in comparison because it makes the rest of their body look huge, you know, and they look scary, they look giant, they look like they have this giant bone structure. And bigger eyes tend to have that opposite effect. Bigger eyes tend to shrink them down, um, you know, in many cases. But, um, Anyways, that's about it. That was a few tips on uh, monster eyes. If you do have any questions, write them below. Maybe I'll make a whole other video for it, you know, and I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Those are just some small tips that I use. And I hope that if it helped you out in any way, if it helped you out in any way, please give me a like and share this on Facebook. Uh, you know, comment, say hi. And uh, yeah, see you later, guys. Okay, guys, cool. I uh, hope you liked the video, and I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe on the upper left-hand corner. On the top right-hand corner is this uh, cool art case that we sell. Uh, it's something I started on Kickstarter a long time ago, and I've been selling very consistently even now. Uh, but check it out if you want to buy it. I mean, you know, click the click the link. Uh, also, bottom right-hand corner is my main channel with all, you know, kind of more varied things. You can always go there and uh, sub to that on the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. See ya.